Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another episode of Layers of Fear. Um, now, last we left off, we had walked into this room, it was all turned up upside down, and we flipped on a light switch, turned it all right side back up, picked up this little note. Also, there's a ghost of some kind of woman prancing around in this place, scaring the shit out of me. Scaring the living bejesus. Um, this hallway actually looks kind of cool. Like, if this wasn't a haunted house, that was completely fucking with me. I would like to have a hallway like this. But since this game is royally fucking with me all the time. Uh, <laughs> okay, I hear some I hear some crying. This is getting worse. <laughs> no! This is starting off way too scary already. Um but is happening. Okay. Okay, just keep going, Dorian. Just keep going. You got this. You're a big boy. <laughs> what is it? Can I walk? Please let me walk. Please let me walk. Please let me walk. Okay. Okay. Just just through the door. Just through the door. Oh, that was spooky. Hope is the mind killer. Are you telling me not to have hope? Because I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can get through this game without hope that somehow um, I will not die. I am, honestly, now I'm fearful for the character. Do I have to do any of these things? Oh, guess I'm going down now. I went up and now I'm going down. I really don't want to go down because when we were going down last time, that's when we saw the goats for the first time. Doesn't seem to be here right now. Um, it looks like there might be a scary thing in this chest. Abandon hope while you can. <laughs> abandon hope. Why? Why do you want me to abandon hope? Okay, here we go. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from uh, any impertinent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage, portray you as a victim of the system, a husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your dot to back. Um, I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced that this story is you somehow killed your wife in some fit of some crazy fit of anger, or whatever it might have been, your daughter got taken away from you, and now you went back to the house and are being tortured by it. I don't know why there's an empty room with a door. It's not really something I want to see, but okay. Back into the cellar. We were here a couple episodes ago. I think it was like really dark. Um, I don't remember much about it. We had, yeah, 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 we went through that door, I believe, didn't we? Because we couldn't, I saw broken walls like that somewhere else. Alright, come on. Um, what? I've gotten the habit now of just walking, ah! Oh, you sneaky little, sneaky little rat. Literally, you sneaky little rat. Yeah, we've been in this room before, there's the noose. Is that for me to hang myself with? Is that what you want? Me to hang myself with that noose? Um... Okay! I get it, there's rats in here. Okay, so there's a water fountain. Seems like a very weird thing to just randomly have here. And there's nowhere to go other than that door. Let's turn that. See what happens. Hopefully nothing. Anything? Okay, let's just keep walking. Just keep walking. 
Okay, they've gone a while without a jump scare, which is putting me on edge, man. It's really putting me on edge. Like, when's it gonna happen? Alright, so I think it wants me to move that. Okay, it wants me to move that, but there's also a door here. Let's see what's in here. The door wouldn't be- those, this room wouldn't be here if there wasn't. Oh! Okay. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Silent floaters, they clog the drains, fur in the water, no baddest for me. What? What's that noise? Okay, I thought, I thought I heard a bunch of bats, or rats, or whatever they are. Okay, so the light just flickers on its own, okay. Um, so one of the notes we had seen earlier was talking about rats turning into bats. I don't know what that's all about, but... It was there. Let's keep going. It looks like the house is being sold or something. Foreclosed, maybe. Alright, this is a very creepy room. There's a door right there. Let's see what else there is. There's a pathway. I feel like something just moved me. Alright. Oh, there's a peephole. Oh, no, that's a lock. Why is there a lock on this door? Why would I want to lock the door? Okay, well, let's just lock it. Can I not lock it once it's unlocked? Oh, that was a stupid decision on my part. That's gonna come back to bite me in the ass, I bet. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another one. Mm. No, no. I don't I don't have time for this. I'm too scared. Oh god, there's so many doors here. I don't I already regret opening the one. I'm not gonna open the others. Hate me if you will. But fuck. Fuck. I don't know which one to go down. Which one do I go in? Alright, here goes nothing. Door number one! Door number three. Brick. Alright. Okay. Alright. What about door number... Two! Also brick. Great. I'm very scared to turn around in this game. If you guys haven't noticed, I never actually turn around very easily. I back up and slowly turn. At the same time. I swear to god, this better not be brick. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, it's brick too. How do I- Do I have to go backwards? Oh, shit, so no. No. What? What even is this? What even is this? This is a really bad acid trip. A really bad acid trip, man. All right. Well, we made it to the other side. Down into a basement? This is a terrible idea. This is absolutely terrible decision. I can't see anything. It's pitch black in here. Okay, there we go. All right, this looks like some new room. The piano's down here. Remember that? What's that noise? Do you hear that really low bass? Cause I hear a really, really low bass. It's getting worse. Oh! 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 Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what else is down here. Do you guys not hear that? It's like a really deep rumbling bass. It's getting worse. It's to my left. And now it's gone. That was really creepy. 
Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure what it wants me to do down here. Uh, so I might cut off the episode. Uh, and, you know, come back in with a fresher brain. I wanted to do a little bit more in this one. Uh, but I can't seem to figure out where to go. Maybe it's something with the piano. I have to touch it again. Oh, there's a water fountain over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn all of these on. I don't know what happens if I turn on the water fountains. But I guess I'll just turn them on as I see them. Let's touch the piano again. Yep, oh, yep, that's what I wanted. Something happened. Don't know what, but something happened. Oh! Hi! Do I touch it again? No. Do I just walk through all this floating furniture and hopefully not die? Because... This is fucking weird, dude. Hmm. That's flickering. Interesting. Um... Maybe a path's gonna open up now? Because of this? Oh, nope! It's getting worse! Don't know what I'm supposed to do in here. Just... Floating furniture. Oh! <laughs> it's getting worse again. What was that? You see that distortion just now? Oh god. Oh god, no! No! I needed to remove oh, the flesh found it. from the bone. Okay. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw. Why? Boiled it. What is wrong with put you? put the bone in a mortar. Oh, my God. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Yeah, obviously not. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. Mm -hmm. It made for a lovely Is he turning undercut. people into paint? He's turning people into paintings. Okay. It's making a little bit more sense now. This dude's turning people into paintings, which those paintings are in this house and ultimately causing it to haunt him. Um, okay. Let's see if I can find a way out. I don't know how to get out of here. There doesn't seem to be a way back. Okay, here we go. Let's go back upstairs, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. We're almost there. Nothing's happened yet. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're back in this room. This room's the, s the safest room we've ever been in. So... Hopefully that doesn't change. I mean, it's getting more messed up. Don't get me wrong. Am I getting more messed up? No, I look the same. Okay. Um, for the most part, everything looks the same. Um, so, yeah. Let's touch it. See what happens. What if... Okay, that's changing. Um, and the painting is obviously changing, too. I heard a creak. Okay, the door opened. Yeah. What if you fail? I don't know, let's just get the fuck out of here. How about that? Um, I don't really know what that's supposed to be. Kinda you kinda see like a person in the in the middle of it, but um but yeah, so that's about it. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So cool, cool, yeah, awesome, sweet, dokai. I don't know what dokai means, I just said it. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Um if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a uh, wonderful day, and I will catch you all in my next video. Later.